Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark, Emily's story, as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we came here to some desolate Arctic tundra. So let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell. We do have a flare gun, I believe, so we could launch a flare, should we? Should we need to? Oh! Aha, here we are. What's this? Uh, okay. Yeah. Nothing in there. Some bullets. I already have enough of them. Light the lamp. Oh! Ah, I see another. Let's keep going. Oh! My god! Like this. Oh. Look at this. My God. Go up there. I'm just wondering if there's. Imagine how cold this would be. Grief. What's this? Uh, flares, machine gun cartridges. Ice pick. Oh. Oh. Well, that's no good. Don't mind. Oh. Oh, so desolate and cold. Drink. More shotgun shells. Who are you? What do you want? Emily, you should not have come. Yeah, hey, we can talk about this. It's we too late for that. I mean, we we okay. It's too late. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, alright! Bloody hell! Ow! My god! What a swine! Okay, okay. Oh, really? Not bloody loaded. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Good grief. Well, that's not brilliant, but... Hmm. Okay. Any other bullets or anything here for us? Anything we can use? What's this metal underfoot? 
Is it? Ah. More health. Perfect. Thing up here. No. Hmm. Well, make sure everything's loaded up. And we're fully prepped. Okay. Align the stars. is going to be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy. Then at least set everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How? I I killed you. Emily? Why? Okay. Reload. Oh God. Emily, run! No. Enough bullets. Reload. Is it coming? I'm out of bullets.
Oh, crumbs. I don't understand. Why are you here? I did everything you wanted to break the pack. What else can I do? Wait, it did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, God. Emily, stop! Don't worry. We got you. Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Hmm. Miss Hot, what is up? Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. Hmm. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, a lot of gave you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he all right? Hmm. He's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. Really? Normal. Hmm. I broke the pack? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Hmm. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily! I missed you so! I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt. But it works. Jeez. That's terrible. Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. True, I suppose. Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. Hmm. Alright. So we need to find Detective Carnby. Hello, Ruth. What are you doing? Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Well, I do <gasps> try. Thank you. Happy to be of service. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what's this? Good to see you're still with us, Miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Mm. Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. 
we raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. Well, all right. What's this? Oh. I almost forgot this was here. The very heart of Deseto, you know. Almost time to call on her. Yes. What is Grace doing? What are you doing? Preparing for the ceremony. This time she will come. I'm sure of it. Well, I mean, what? Give Grace something to play with? Okay. Strange. What? <laughs> hey, kid. What are you up to? Nothing much. Yeah? Anything I'm gonna have to pay for? Bored, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. You want to see if we can tear your mother away from the play? Can you believe they're still going? It's been hours. You forgot this. Well, I just didn't want you to think we had abandoned you in there. Can we go home? Yes, please. Can we? What? You guys didn't like the play? It was all right. A little difficult to follow. Oh, I agree. Let's just say there were moments where it, uh, left me alone in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. That's the name of the play! Whoa, what do you know? Did you like it, sweetie? There should have been a hedge maze. A hedge maze? Uh-huh, and pirates. <laughs> that would have been fun. Well, maybe next time. And that was Emily's side of Alone in the Dark. Quite an interesting little ending there. I'm guessing that it, it's kind of the alternative to waiting and having the whole ceremony happen again, like it happened in Eddie's playthrough. But in this, did they become a couple and become oh, Grace's parents? I don't know. I don't know. But there you have it, folks. It's a relatively short episode today unfortunately because we finished i don't know whether that was maybe a secret ending or because we collected enough lanyaps or something like that i'm not too sure but there you have it so until next time be safe be good and do look after yourself